Hey guys, I implemented Tetris using mock mechanics and I made this short video to show it to you. It's not perfect, it can only detect a completed row at the bottom and it's a little slow, but otherwise it's fully functional and I created it very quickly. It involves some coding, but just this much, and even that is not strictly necessary. I could have implemented the while loop using a mechanical device like the one in the clock I showed you in the previous video. As you can see, it's just a machine that makes one of the pieces visible and then moves it. This lever turns it on, it's a machine so of course it has to be turned on. These buttons just activate these graphs to move it side to side. This one rotates all the parts with this other graph. And this graph moves it down step by step for as long as the lever is on. When a collision happens, this machine is turned on, which makes a copy in place of the Tetris piece and makes it a child of the red part in the top right corner. This other submachine is then called, which inspects the bottom row to see if it's complete. If it is, if this thingamajig reaches the end, then the red piece moves down to hide the row. This is the most complex thing I ever created with Mock Mechanics so far. It involved creating some machines from scratch like the copier, the lever and the roll tester and then importing them so I could build an even more complex machine. And all of it with almost no code, possibly zero if I really wanted to. And I feel like I'm just scratching the surface on what's possible to build with Mock Mechanics. You should try it yourself. I really recommend watching the first video I made where I explain what mock mechanics is and the basics of how it works so you can try to build things like this yourself. I hope you liked this video and if so like and subscribe and see you guys on the next one.